Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I've got a cool tutorial for you guys. It is a false shuffle that retains the entire deck order. So let's check that out. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I publish new videos. I publish videos on gambling sleight of hand, demonstrations, tutorials, reviews and all that good stuff so don't miss out subscribe and click the bell all right so false shuffles we all love false shuffles but some of them are kind of complicated i'm going to teach you a false shuffle today that you can use in your routines and the plus of this shuffle is that it could both be used in magic or in a gambling sleight of hand now disclaimer if you're going to use it strictly to cheat at cards this is probably not the best shuffle unless you are in incredibly high loose company i wouldn't recommend you use this shuffle strictly for card cheating however when it comes to magic oh this is where it shines really this this is where the shuffle really shines because in magic performances or in even gambling uh, performances your spectators are close but you can maintain eye contact with them so as long as you're maintaining eye contact and you're flowing with your patter and you're telling your story and you're looking them and you're looking at them in the eye then they're not going to be paying so much attention to what's happening underneath your hands so let's have a look at it we're going to have two aces on top of the deck and we're going to have two aces on the bottom of the deck that way we know if we've controlled the entire deck so this is what we're going to do we're simply going to go ahead and shuffle and square everything up. Once more, we're going to shuffle and square everything up. And as you can see, I gave the deck two shuffles. We still have two aces on top and we still have two aces in the bottom. So we've maintained entire deck order. So what's happening here is that you're going to split the deck in half and what you're going to do is that under cover of your hands, this is very important, do not shuffle out here. Make sure that you're shuffling in here. Hands need to be as in as possible on the deck because it's the hands that are gonna provide you the cover. Bring the hands as close as possible, lifting the corners, and as you lift the corners, notice that I'm gonna have my left hand slightly on top of my right hand hand my left hand packet I should say slightly on top of my right hand packet and under cover of my hands what's gonna happen is that I'm going to shuffle my right hand packet first so I'm gonna shuffle this one first and as I'm halfway there I'm gonna start dropping this left hand packet I'm gonna start riffling that one on top of it so now what I have is two packets that are angled one slightly on top of the other. So the right hand packet is fully on the bottom and the right hand packet is fully on top. And now with the cover of my hands, I'm going to use the palms in both of my hands to push the two packets in, telescoping the top packet over the bottom packet. So as I have my hands covered here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push in like so and cover everything and then I'm going to let go. The packets are going to look a little bit off centered, which is perfectly fine. That actually helps with the convincing and then I'm going to square here on the sides and I have retained the entire deck order. Now let's look at that from a more exposed position. Okay, so first split in half. Now remember, you would do this with your hands in front covering, but I'm gonna do it exposed. You split in half and what you're gonna do is this. Angle the packets like so, right hand packet on the bottom, left hand packet on top, start dropping the right hand packet, start dropping the right hand packet, and then start dropping the left hand packet on top of that. So now you have right hand packet on the bottom, left hand packet on top. And now all you're gonna do is simply square up. And as you square, this hand slightly lifts the left packet. This hand pushes the right packet underneath it, as you can see right there. You see how the left hand packet telescopes over the right hand packet. I keep pushing in and I drop. 
releasing pressure with my left hand palm drops the telescoping left packet on top. I square everything up and I have retained entire deck order top to bottom because the packets were never ever truly mixed. So once again, you would come here under cover of your hands, under the cover of your hands, riffle, you come here, riffle, and square everything up. First of all, sound misdirection is going to play a major role in this false shuffle, major role. For example, the auditory sound of riffling the cards together, this sound, you need to generate that sound. Don't just drop the packets. You need to generate that sound. Remember, they're gonna be maintaining eye contact with you. You're gonna be looking at your spectator in the eye. You're gonna be talking to your spectator. They're gonna be looking at you in the eye. So they need to hear the riffle sound being made. That, with your misdirection and that sound misdirection is going to tell their brains that yes a shuffle took place so that's gonna be it for today guys hope you enjoyed the tutorial quick simple but it packs a good punch hope you can use it hope you learn something new and i will catch you next week